Hey everyone, welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw a chibi night wing. So let's get started with the eyes. I'm going to start on the left side and draw the upper brow, starting from the outside and a curve inside. So curving down and in. From here I'm just going to draw a little frown line. So in here I'm just going to curve up. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Starting from the inside, we're going to leave a gap in the center here. We're going to curve in, and then we'll curve out the upper eyelid to the outside of the right eye. Let's go ahead and tuck the eyes in underneath. So on the left side here, we're just going to leave a little overlap and draw a curve, almost like a half circle, going down to the bottom of the eye, and then right into that frown line. We we'll do the same thing on the right side. Starting on the inside, we'll curve down, then tuck that in underneath the eyelid. Let's give a little bit of an eye bag here. So on the center here, on the inside of the eye, I'm just going to curve down on the insides of the eye. Let's go ahead and draw on the upper part of the mask. So in between the eyes, right above here, we're going to draw an upside down V like that. From here we're going to curve up above the eyes on either side. So we'll start on the left, we'll curve above the left eye, we'll curve up above the right eye, like that. And then we're going to draw a straight angled line going up and in. So this is the top of the mask. Now we're going to curve down the side of the mask to the side of the head. So from here I just want to curve down to the side of the left eye. We'll curve down to the side of the right eye, making sure they're roughly the same height. Now we're going to curve down towards the bottom of the mask. So from here, I want to curve down and sort of give it a little bit of a swoop up. Do the same thing on the right side, so curving in. From here, we're going to draw a straight angled line going in towards the eye on either side. And then from here, we're going to curve up. We're going to curve around the eye towards the center. We're going to leave a little gap in here because we want to draw a V shape in the center. So we're just going to curve up up on the right, and we're going to draw a little V shape, connecting those two points down in the middle and back up on the right. Let's go ahead and draw in the mouth. So I'm going to give him a little snarl. So starting on the left side here, I'm going to curve up, and then I'm going to flatten out as I get towards the right side. From here, let's curve the side of the mouth, curving down, and we're going to curve and tuck this in underneath the top of the mouth. The curve that comes down across like that. Let's give him some teeth. So along here, I'm just going to draw a straight line like that, and we'll cross it like a T. In this little corner here, we're just going to color that in black. Underneath the mouth, let's draw a straight line, just to show the bottom lip. Now from the sides of the mask, we're going to curve down in towards the bottom of the chin. So the chin I'm going to draw down to here. Starting on the left side, I'm just going to leave a little bit of an overlap, so the mask sort of overlaps the face a little. So we're going to curve down towards the bottom of the chin. Now I'm going to bring this back up towards the right side. So curving up, and tuck that in underneath the mask. From here, let's give him some hair bangs. So we're going to draw the hair sort of swooped over this way. It's quite long. So on the side of the mask here, I'm going to curve up. Curve up above the mask point. Now we're going to draw a few bangs coming down. So from this point, I'm going to curve in towards that center with a short curve like that. We're going to pull this back up. So we're tapering out so it gets a little wider as we come up. Now we're going to draw a longer bang coming towards the top edge of the right side of the mask, so coming in across like that. Now we're going to draw another curve going up. We're going to draw a curve up that way. Now we're going to come across the top of the mask and over to the side of the head. So from here, I'm just going to cross the side of the mask and just come down with a long line like that. Let's go ahead and draw some ears. So on the left side, I'm just going to tuck an ear on this side, starting just where the head meets the mask right here. I'm going to draw a curve going out, and I'm going to pull this back into the side of the head. Up in here, we're just going to draw a little curve for some inner ear detail. We're going to take that same thing and draw it on the right side. Starting on the side of the mask here, we're going to curve up. We're going to have to tuck this in underneath this line, just because the hair bang sort of overlaps the ear. Curve it at the bottom, and then right here, we're just going to draw some inner ear detail. Now from here, I'm going to draw the side of the hair. So the hair is sort of brushed out, and it curves over this way. So I'm going to start back in this corner, just above this ear. I'm going to curve up. And here, let's draw a couple hair strands. So curving down with a short curve. We're going to curve back up and in. Now we're just keeping mindful that the hair is going to come up to about here. So from this point, I'm going to curve up. We're switching directions, so the hair is going to start to swoop this way. We'll pull it back in. And we draw another bigger spike, so going up longer. And we'll pull that back in to right about there. Now we're going to start going across to the top of the head. So right here, I'm going to draw a big curve going across like that. I'm going to pull it back down. So again, it's tapering out. It's getting a little wider as we come to the bottom here. 
Now we're going to draw one big one going across the top of the head, just like that. Now we eventually want to make our way back down here, but we're going to do two or three more hair strands coming out. So from this point, I'm going to pull it back with a short curve. Now we're going to come out with another curve right in between this point and this point. I'm going to pull that back in to right about there. Now I'm going to take this point and pull it right into that long point on the side of the head. There, just like that. Okay, so we got the head. Let's get into the body. Now the body, I want to kind of give him an action pose. So I'm going to turn the body like slightly this way and have him holding two batons. So what we want to do is if we're turning the body this way, we want to draw the profile of the chest on this side. We're going to turn the body this way. So just underneath the chin on the left side of center, right here, we're going to draw a curve. Okay, so this is the top front edge of the chest. We're going to do an overlap and curve down towards the waistline. And again, all our chibis, we draw the body about the same height as the head. Now, because his head is quite big because of the hair, we're just going to measure out with our left hand. We're going to bring the feet down to about here. Halfway between the bottom of the feet and the chin is where our waist is going to be located. So this is the waistline. That line looks pretty good. So let's go to the left side and draw on this arm. I'm just going to have a bent holding a baton straight up. So on the side of the chest, we're going to leave some space. We're going to draw the side of the arm, a little curve like that. From here, we're going to go straight across the line. Now this is going right into the thumb area. So right here we're going to do an overlap and we're just going to swirl around like that. Okay, so we're coming around and then coming back up about halfway in that curve. In here we're just going to pull a curve in. This is this part, the meat of the hand here. Let's lower, layer in some fingers here. So beside the thumb, curve out and tuck that back in behind the thumb. We're going to do another finger. So we're going to step down to here and we're going to curl it around the thumb area like that. Let's do one more. Curl around and tuck that in like that. Let's draw the top of the baton. So right from this top of the finger, we're going to draw a straight line going up. So pulling a straight line like that. We're going to curve the top. Now we're going to pull another line down. Same angle as this line that we have here. Right beside it. Now we're going to see the bottom edge of the baton here. So pulling two short lines, making sure they're somewhat lined up, and then we'll curve the bottom to connect that. Let's go to the bottom here. So right underneath this finger, right down along this baton, we're going to curve in. So it's almost aimed towards that point there. This is for the bottom of the meat of the hand. Now we're going to do an overlap and curve this in behind the body. So we've got that arm that comes across this way. Let's give him a little wristband. So up here, I'm just going to curve across the forearm. We'll draw that twice one beside the other, and we'll just separate this into three parts by drawing two lines across like that. Okay, so now we got that side of the body, let's go on to this side. Now this arm is going to be stretched out this way. So what we want to do is we'll start with the inside part of the arm first. So making sure we leave enough space for the chest, we're going to curve down towards the wrist, curving across this way. Now underneath this arm, we're going to step over towards the right and curve down the back. So we're going to make sure we come down to the same height as we have on the left side here. So curving down. We're going to connect those two points with a curve. Just like that. Okay, let's go back to this hand. Now we're going to draw the hand on the back side here with a baton coming out this way. So we're going to draw the back side of the knuckle first. So up here we're going to do an overlap. Curve in like that. Now this is the thumb. We're going to wrap around almost like a half circle to the index finger. Now the distance between here will determine the thickness of the baton. So we're going to draw the baton in this direction here. So from this point and this point, we're going to draw two angled lines coming down. This is for the baton. We're going to connect those two points with an oval. So from the top, come down and then back up again. Let's wrap the fingers around the baton. So right here, we're going to curve the first finger, do an overlap, the second finger, now the third finger is going to go and connect with the top of the arm. So from here we want to curve. Now we want to make our way back in underneath the head. So curving all the way back underneath the head there. Now this baton is going to, you're going to see the butt end of it right here. So coming out with two short lines like that, connect it with a curve. Again, we're going to draw that little wristband. So up above the wrist, draw a curve like that, draw one more, and then we're going to separate the wristband with two lines like that. Let's draw that little detail, the little pattern in the chest. So now in the center, this isn't actually the center of the body, so we're shifted over towards the left a little bit. So right up here, we're going to draw a point. That'll be our starting point. 
From this point, we're going to curve up towards the left. And this time, we're going to go in the opposite direction. We're not going to curve down. We're going to curve up like that. From these two points, we're going to angle in towards the mouth with two short lines. And then we're going to curve this underneath the chin. And this one will curve underneath the chin on the right side. On this side here, you'll sort of see it wrap around the shoulder area. So just down on the chest, curve in towards that elbow. On this side, you're going to see it coming in from this side of the arm, curving around to the back of the arm there. Now we want to draw the bottom side of this pattern. So from this point, we're going to step down to about here, draw a point. Now I can actually just curve that right into that chest line. So extending that chest line like that, and then following that same curve underneath the back like that. Over here, we're just going to continue this curve down and then just curve it across the top of the hand there. Okay, so we got the pattern there. Let's get into the legs. So again, so the body's turned this way. We're going to step down. We're going to draw a curve for the lower torso. So this leg's going to be bent. This leg's going to be slightly forward. So right here, we're going to step back and just have a little overlap. Straight line angled out towards the back of the knee. We'll curve this down towards the heel. Now we're going to draw the length of the foot. So from the toe to the heel, we'll curve across like that. Let's draw on the top of the foot. So from the toe, I'm going to draw a curve in towards that heel. But I'm not going to go all the way. I'm just going to curve across right about there. From this hip, I want to come out to the knee and then down to the top of the foot. So from the hip, I'm going to curve to right about there. And then draw a straight angled line to the top of that foot there. We'll draw on the sole. So we're going to take this curve and just duplicate it right above like that. And then for the boot right up here, I'm just going to draw a curve to separate the boot. Let's go ahead and take that pretty much and draw the, the uh, reverse on this side here. So again, on the inside, we're going to step in, draw an angled line to the back of the knee. We're going to curve down. Now this curve is going to go lower than we have on the uh, left side here. From this point, let's curve the front of the foot. Like that. We're going to curve the top of the boot. So again, curve aiming towards the heel, but we're going to stop right about there. From the hip, we'll curve down towards the knee behind that baton to right about there, and I'll draw a straight line to the top of the foot. We'll separate the boot, cuff, and draw on a sole, so tracing that line above it. And that is pretty much it. There we have it. There's Chibi Nightwing. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.